Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator working in Scotland. And I've come on today to do another um, tutorial showing you a stamp set that's leaving us. Um, and I'm going to use the new in colours which are joining us. So it's like out with the old and in with the new. I'm going to do a few projects similar to this over the next wee while. While we bridge the gap between, well there's no gap, the, the, well I'm saying while we bridge the gap between the two catalogues, there's not a gap. The current annual catalogue finishes on the 3rd of June and the new annual catalogue starts on the 4th of June and I think there's only maybe about two to three hours where there's no catalogue available while well, the um, sort the website ready for us to order from the new catalogue. So this is one of another of my favourite stamp sets. I'm going to say I had a lot of stamp sets. I've already um, told you some of this in a previous video. I'm filming quite a few today, so um, to me they're consecutive. But I'm not quite sure. I've not planned when each one will go out to you, but in the you know, in this last two weeks leading up for the new catalogue, I will be sharing these. So anyway, stop blethering Janice and get on with it. So today it's simple stamping, just a le just some simple stamping, I think. And I've chosen um, two colours from the new in colours. The new in colours are Seaside Spray, Purple Posy, Terracotta Tile. Rococo Rose and Pretty Peacock. Now these um, colours are here until June 2021, so two years of these lovely colours. Just a set of five, so it's really, they go well together. So a handy set to get if you're just starting out, just get the five colours, get the card that coordinates with it, the pens that coordinate with it, and there is some beautiful designer series paper to coordinate. In fact, there's a couple of different packs of designer series paper that actually go particularly well with these new colours. So lots to play with. So a good, you know, a good way to start off. So as I say, today I'm doing petal palette. I've just actually chosen three stamps from this set, one of the sentiments from here and two um, stamps from here and I'm just going to do a simple card to, just to, I don't know how quite how it's panning out so you'll see I've still got ink from my previous card. So I've cut a, I've cut a base white card which was left over from my previous project, a layer of Rococo rose and then a lower another layer of whisper white okay so again I'm going to try and stick with the two colors the rococo rose and the pretty peacock put these to the side just now and this is the layer we're going to stamp on I have put onto blocks the beautiful leaf stamp as you see it's marked with things that I've used it for all sorts of things and it's on to a block that is the E block so it's quite a big stamp I've got a sentiment stamp and it says some things are just meant to be like the two of you together so maybe a nice wedding anniversary card or a wedding day card or just to celebrate a couple that you want to appreciate. And a little flower stamp, which I'm hoping will kind of go amongst the leaves. I've not worked it out yet, so we'll just see what happens. Do you know what? I'm just playing. And if I don't... <laughs> you don't want to see what happened there. <laughs> Guess what part of my anatomy that landed on. And... So I now have beautiful, I'm wearing a lavender sun top, vest top to go out in the sun. I may have to change that, stick it in the wash fairly soon. Okay, so I've opened my ink. I'm going to do my sentiment. I'm popping that in. In here. I'm 
doing this in the Pretty Peacock and I'm popping it maybe down here. I'm not sure. Don't even know if it's straight. You could, you know, you could utilise the grid paper on your block and try and straighten things up. Some things are just meant to be like the two of you together. I do like the phone on that. That's gorgeous. So you could have congratulations in there as well. But I might just pop that on in the inside. But So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to use this pretty peacock and get some leaves down here. Now, not practised. I've no idea how this is all going to fan out pan out but basically what I'm just going to do is like a border of leaves I oh, rather like that it's such a gorgeous colour isn't it and I'm going to pop second generation in there don't know if I like it or not but then coming in at a slightly different angle and So it's just like a cluster of leaves around. The sentiment. And then I'm going to pop some flowers. I maybe could have spaced that out a bit better, but you know, I'm just going to pop this wee flower around and we'll see what happens. That Rococo rose is beautiful, isn't it? I'm just popping it in and amongst the leaves. I'm not... It's just a bit... Probably a bit arty farty, but I love it. Tell me that's not nice. Enough. Don't know when to stop. Pretty, so I'm just going to layer this up onto the Rococo rose and then onto the white. I rather like that. What do you think? Let's let's just get a snail and layer it up and then we'll get a clean sheet and see what you think. I love just to play. These colours are really growing on me. I have to be honest, I wasn't sure at first, but then I'm all, always a bit like that with the new in colours when they come in. I'm just not sure. But do you know, not only do they work together as a team, they work with all our other colours. And I'll show you how that works in future videos. These skies are definitely on my team. I'll, I'll be using these. Just make sure you're straight. Not easy to do on a video. So there you go. Oh, that one's dirty too.
Right, okay, here you go. Some things are just meant to be like the two of you together. So again, I used Petal Palette. And I used, where are my inks? <laughs> They've run away. Here we go, Pretty Peacock and Rococo Rose. I actually love that and it was just random stamping apart from the sentiment obviously I thought about where I wanted that. The rest was fairly random. What do you think? Do you think you're going to add these colours to your palette? They're certainly going to be a major part of mine. Watch this space. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you get to know what's coming next. There, I am going to be starting to use more of the things that I already have. Part of being a one of the perks of being a demonstrator is you can buy the things earlier than everyone else. So, do you know what? If you want to sign up, you can have um, some of the new things in your starter kit. If you want to do that, let me know. Let me know, and I'll help you with that. Thank you. Bye.